Chapter 27, Lost Ones One week before the custody hearing, Saxton received a letter stating that Abilene had signed a petition agreeing her sister to take custody of the children pending her progress. He could not believe what he was reading. He had taken the children to see her about four weekends straight. School would be starting a week after the court hearing. With the help of Charlize, he had gotten their lives back on track. What is wrong with her? Saxton said once Charlize closed the door to his office. Why would she agree to allow her sister to take the children when they've been with me all this time? This would only upset their lives. Mm -hmm. Besides, Jack and Devonna told me they did not want to go with their aunt. Charlize added. They told me the same thing. I'm calling her right now and ask her if she lost her mind. He picked up his phone to make that phone call. Maybe her sister got into her ear. Saxton, look at me, Charlie said, realizing he wasn't even paying her any mind. She grabbed his phone before he could hit sin. What, woman, what are you doing that for? Don't call her. After all, she has a right to say where her kids go. They are still her children. Baby, this just doesn't seem right. Why would she flip on a dime like that? Charlize wanted to tell her man that it was because you can never trust someone battling with drugs, but she held back. Maybe she changed her mind. But we are getting along so well. She knows these kids are well taken care of, and I have plenty of help. Baby, it's going to be okay. Just because she decided to recommend her sister does not mean it will work out that way. You have plenty of proof that you've been on the case with them. Mm. Charlize? Yes. <sighs> you know, three months ago, I would have never thought I'd be fighting to gain custody of my younger siblings. I always told myself I didn't even want any of my own. <sighs> now look at me. <laughs> well, Saxon, things do change. <laughs> yeah, me and Jack go fishing. <sighs> he comes up to the studio with me. I even had to run to the store to get some girly products for Devonna. <laughs> oh. I never even done that for Monica. Oh, no. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew they would grow on you soon enough. Is that the reason you left them in the break room and went home that first day? Okay, I'll admit. I did do that on purpose. I knew it. Let's not tell the kids what's going on yet. I don't need them getting stressed out.